What if I told you one man from ancient Greece was so brilliant? His inventions could lift ships, set fleets ablaze, expose royal forgery, and even terrify the Roman Empire. His name was Archimedes, and his life is far stranger, deeper, and more dramatic than the textbook stories you've heard. Archimedes was born around 287 BCE in Syracuse, a bustling Greek city on the island of Sicily. But here's the mystery. History barely records anything about his early life. No childhood anecdotes, no training records. Yet somehow, this quiet boy became one of the greatest minds humanity has ever produced. Was he a prodigy? Was he trained by secret scholars in Alexandria? Historians still debate it. Then comes the famous Eureka moment. A king suspects his golden crown is fake, and Archimedes is given an impossible challenge, prove it without melting it. Stepping into a bath, he notices the water rise, and suddenly everything clicks. He discovers displacement, density, and a brand new method of scientific measurement. The story goes, he sprinted naked through the streets, shouting Eureka! But the real miracle wasn't the run it was that Archimedes invented an entire field of physics in a bathtub. But genius alone didn't define him. When Rome attacked Syracuse, Archimedes became their worst nightmare. He designed massive cranes, claws of Syracuse, that plucked enemy ships out of the sea. He built catapults so precise they could strike at long range, and at close range. And then there's the burning mirror's huge arrays that supposedly concentrated sunlight and turned Roman ships into firewood. Some historians doubt it, others claim it's possible. The truth remains a tantalizing mystery. Despite his inventions, Rome eventually conquered Syracuse. A Roman soldier found Archimedes drawing circles in the sand. When ordered to move, he calmly whispered, do not disturb my calculations. It was the last thing he ever said. Archimedes left behind formulas, machines and ideas centuries ahead of his time, from the Archimedean screw to the foundations of calculus. But here's the twist. Parts of his work disappeared for nearly a thousand years. Hidden in a medieval prayer book, overwritten by monks, his lost treatises were rediscovered only in the 20th century. And some believe there's more still missing. If you love uncovering the lost brilliance and hidden mysteries of the ancient world, subscribe to Imperium Eternal, where forgotten history rises again.